you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius in you your birth chart this video may resonate with you okay so just take what fits your story don't like you know try to make anything fit your story if it didn't happen it didn't happen probably in the future okay so this could happen in the past this could be happening right now so let's see spirit guides what's going on for aquarius for my collective so we have the Ten of Cups. So some guys could be getting married, okay? Or well, I'm seeing you're just in a good space right now with your family, okay? It's content, you know, it's supportive, it's genuine love, okay? You're happy, it's a lot of joy, it's peaceful. Your kids are happy. Or if not, I'm sitting here, you're about to make a family with somebody that, that you're either committed to, okay? You both wanna be with each other for the long haul. Okay, we have Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, you could just be spending time with your family. It is a holiday time. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles here. I'm seeing here, some guys could have got proposed on Christmas. Oh, that's so cute. We have the cherry here. I'm seeing here, some of you guys, y'all could just be single parents. And it's like you're very... Um, abundant, you're a working parent, you're nurturing, okay, you take care of what needs to be taken care of, okay, and I'm seeing here, it's like you made sure that your kids had a good Christmas, you know, like you really worked hard, so you could see smiles on their face, so you could, so they could feel that they're loved, because I'm seeing here, like, when you was young, you probably didn't have, like, a good Christmas, you know, or your parents didn't have it, but I'm seeing here, you made sure that you had it for your children or your child. We have a cherry here, some of you guys could just buy a new car, Okay. Well, I'm seeing here, somebody here could have just got a gift, but it could have been like money, so it can help you. Um, like start like your career off. Or I'm saying you could have put it in your savings account. Either your husband or your boyfriend or your fiance could have did this. You have the two of swords in the chariot. So I'm saying, hey, you overcame something in the past where somebody here was cheating. The two of swords, they didn't want to make a decision, so you moved away from this person. That's, I'm saying, here you made the decision for them, so they didn't want to make it. Yeah, and I'm seeing here with the tower. I have the tower that it caused a big change in your life. Mm hmm. Because I'm seeing here, you could have thought that you was going to be with this person forever. Clarify the chariot. The death card in reverse. Yeah, somebody here didn't want things to end with you. Clarify the chariot. Give me another card for chariot. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, but you end up getting a divorce from this person. Okay, I'm seeing here you took your money, your fair share. Yeah, I'm seeing this person could have just been with you because of finances. Mm-hmm. And somebody here didn't want to change. Somebody here wanted to be the same. And I'm seeing here, it's like, you want the Ten of Cups. You don't want the Ten of Pentacles. Like, somebody here really just only cared about money. Or you was dealing with somebody here that was materialistic as hell. They acted like they loved you. But really, they were just using you for the money. And I'm seeing here, something could have went wrong with the money. Because this person was greedy. They could have just spent it on unnecessary things. Somebody here didn't even focus on the kids. It's like, they were just focusing on what they like. This person could have been cheating on you as well. Five of Swords. Yeah, I'm seeing here you surrender. You let go. And then you're just like, yeah, I'm ready for this change. Like, I'd rather go through this change and stay with this person and keep dealing with this same shit. Yeah, you made a decision to go, th go towards um, a new phase. You went through some type of rebirth here with the judgment. You made a decision to leave this person. It's going to be the mother of your child or the, your baby father. Okay, I'm seeing this person could have been like a male and body, but they had feminine ways about them. Like, they acted like a little bitch. Sorry, but <laughs> y'all know I'm real raw and uncut on my readings. Like, you know, they act like a little girl. We have the three of wands here. Yeah, it's like now you have to wait for more shifts to come in. So you have to wait for some type of money to come in towards you now because it's like this person could have spent most of it 
on bullshit. Yeah, I'm feeling your energy. You like you're pissed off for real. Okay, you moved away from this person. Like you don't we only want to be down the street from this person. I'm saying here you contemplated on making this decision, this change though, because of the kids. You know? Like you want your kids to grow in grow up in a same parent household. But you was like, uh uh. I can't do this. I cannot do this. This person could have allowed you to cheat, you know, as long as you gave them what they wanted. They didn't care about nobody else, honestly. For some of you guys, we have the seven of wands here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, they were super aggressive as well. Like, if you didn't get them what they want, they'll start an argument with you or they'll just have a badass attitude for the rest of the day, you know? Yeah, it's like Three of Pentacles here. It's like they wanted you to keep working. You know, keep doing what you need to do. Keep focusing on what you your work so you could get them what they want. They always was like making sure that you was doing what you needed to do. You know, and not like if they did allow you to cheat, it's like, you know, they always would like keep calling your phone or keep texting or something to see like, you know, is that all what you're doing? And if you wasn't working and doing something productive, then they'll have an attitude or they'll try to start something with you. Like if it's like this person know if you was cheating or if you was out with somebody else, it's like they um they 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 just know because they knew you. Because I'm saying y'all could have been there with each other for a while, so they knew you know if you was you know out doing you or working. Or I'm saying they could have had your your fucking um for some of them could have had your the location. Yeah, you felt like trapped with the eight of swords with this person. Some of you guys could have been working with this person. Like y'all could have had a business together, King of Swords, the devil. Yeah, and that's what made you feel trapped even more because you were just like, what the hell? Like, we get finances together. That's what made you stay. But I'm seeing you realize like you had to let that go. You had to, you, I'm seeing you could have gave this person the business that y'all had. Like, you're like, I'm, I'm trying to get away from this person. So I go fucking crazy and lose my mind. This person could have had a mental illness as well. It's like somebody here was not right in the head. King of Swords. Yeah, you had to really like, I feel like you lost feelings for this person. And you realize that they was toxic as hell. They was codependent. Okay, this person had a hell of addictions that they needed to deal with. And you didn't want to deal with that. I'm seeing here, you like structure. It's like this person was all over the fucking place. You know? Knight of Pentacles. And it's like, I'm seeing here, it's like you, you play confused, you play dumb, but you know exactly what was going on. You know, you were just trying to see how long that they was going to keep up this, this act. Not a pinnacles. Yeah, I'm saying you really never was fully committed to this person at all either. You know? Or I'm saying here you regretted committing to this person. But then you realize that you were supposed to learn this lesson. You know? Like you learned something from dealing with this person. This person could have been mad because you didn't commit to them. You know? But they always stayed because they wanted you to just be committed to them. But it's like, it never happened that way. Yeah, the moon card here. This person was being fake as hell. This person also has secrets as well. They could have been committed to another connection as well that you didn't know nothing about. It's a lot of stuff that you didn't know about this person. Can I find another pinnacles? I'm seeing it's like this person wanted you to keep working hard and hard and hard so they could get what they want. High Priestess. Yeah, it's like your intuition was on point about this person. You got a lot of signs. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys could have gifts as well and you're figuring that out. Some of you guys could have had a dream, King of Cups in reverse, about what this person was doing behind your back. And it's like, you were questioning it at first, like, you like, is this real? And then it happened in the 3D. And you was like, whoa. I'm sitting here like right then and there. It's like you couldn't move with the hangman. Because I'm saying you could have had emotions for this person. But I'm sitting here. It's like it faded away. Like you lost passion with this person. Clap on the hangman. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody here did something behind your back. And they didn't think twice about it. And they did is because they wanted you to stay stuck with them. Or they f thought that, you know, if they did something that way, it was going to like, it was like they was being strategic here. It was going to keep you stuck with them. 
Somebody did not think about it. They did not go with that and think about this before they did it. Give me another card for the hangman. Six of Cups, yeah. Somebody could be doing some type of moon work to get you back to them, to commit to them. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying it's like your emotions is gone for this person. It's like it's gone. It's like they're trying to do some type of moon spells or some shit to get you back with them. <laughs> Two of Cups. Yeah, they want you to be back in a relationship with them. This person is crazy. It's like you don't even have love for them anymore. And it's like they want to be with you. It's like go on and heal yourself. The fuck? Like why do you want to be with somebody that don't have love for you? You know? You could have been emotionally manipulative towards this person as well. We have the strength card here. Yeah, it's like they literally trying to have strength to keep doing this. Like they feel like it's going to work. The five swords, yes, but it's not. It's like they're stressing themselves out because they keep trying to do something here. They keep trying to persuade you, influence you. But it's like you don't want to be with them. It's like you let go of this person. And they're just, yeah, you left them, them out in the cold with the five pentacles here. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get some messages of love. Spirit guides, love and light, into some masters, the angel of pearl and light. Tell me some more about this connection. Or Aquarius, moving negative energies from this deck. Okay, so we have here play hard. So it says find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. We have awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. I'm also seeing here that you wanted to commit to somebody else as well, but this person didn't know. They were just so focused on making you stay that they, yeah, see, new love. A new love or a commitment to love is developing. So you're about to meet a new person, okay? But you're, you're going through some type of spiritual awakening, some type of spiritual transformation for us, okay? And I'm seeing when you give with this new person, have time to enjoy yourself. Because I'm seeing you went, you, went, <laughs> you went through a lot with this person. You can expect the apology you want to hear, so... Some of you guys feel like you deserve an apology from this person, you know? But release, yeah. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. But don't be waiting to hear for an apology from this person. Like I feel like you really don't really need an apology from this person. You know? Like move on, you know, because they're gonna try to say some extra shit to get you back with them. But you need to release this person. All I'm saying they keep they keep apologizing to you. And you keep forgiving them. So it's like that's how they they it's like they know how to get you back with them. You know, they're like, all right, if I cry, if I apologize, they're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna leave me. We have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Yeah, so you learned some type of spiritual lesson here for sure. We have your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So I feel like this is a new love that's coming towards you. They're not gonna cheat you like this, Heffa. But uh acceptance yeah everything happened for a reason so you could be thinking like you know have a victim mentality you know like why this happened to me but understand that this happened for a reason you know to help you you know the chemistry you feel the attraction you feel is mutual so you have chemistry with somebody here okay um so we have children see children are important to this um partnership and we have intuition at the bottom of the deck you already know the answer you seek okay so i'm seeing here yeah children was important in this connection you know like you want to stay here because of your, your kids like you you accepted their their apology you know because of your kids okay give me some hand truth messages at this personal felt praise so guys my life. We have I want you. I left when I saw you with someone. Yeah, so I feel like both of y'all was doing with somebody. I love you. We have here my life is not together as it seems. The timing just wasn't right for us.
I know I was a distraction from your pain. We have here, you are the best thing in my life. Ooh. I wish things could be different. I lost myself for a little while. What else? We have here, I regret lying to you. And I know that I crossed my line with you at the bottom of the deck. So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!